Hi everybody. All right, today we're going to go over something that I think is kind of neat. Um, and of course, there's a ton of stuff on Medicat that's really cool. Um, but today we're going to be looking at hard drive lifespan. And just to give an idea of um, different stuff that we can do here. Now in this one, we're going to be looking at the disk tools section. All right, and we're going to look at crystal disk info. Now, if we hover over it, you'll see that it says this is for HDDs and SSDs. It gives you a quick, smart information. It gives you a bunch of information about the hard drive. But what we're going to look at is a couple of specific things. So I'm going to fire this up. It does take a minute or two to run. You do need um, administrator privileges to be able to run it. And it'll fire up in just a second. Here we go. Now, our internal on this computer that we're using right now is a Kingston SSD drive. Now, it says health status good, 100%, temperature's running fine, everything's good. We've got a whole bunch of information down here. But the one thing that we really want to look at on an SSD drive specifically is your total NAND writes. Okay? If we hover over here, you see it says 55 110 gigabytes or if you hover over it it's 53 terabytes and what this means is 53 terabytes of information was written to this hard drive over its entire lifespan on average you get 250 terabytes of writes on a ssd drive or nand drive so this tells us that this drive right now barring any unforeseen um acts uh such as dropping it or you know anything like that or you know getting a light lightning surge is about one fifth of it way through its lifespan so we've got plenty of time left on this but the nice part is you can use this program on any computer with your diagnosing to find out how close your hard drive is to dying because there's only so much rights in each one of these and like I said, the average, 250. I would say if you started getting to around 200 terabytes, it might be time to think about an upgrade or a replacement of the SSD drive just to be on the safe side. Um, that would be my personal recommendation. So there's a bunch of other information here that's handy. Um, the smart information is always good. Um, if there's an error there, replace it immediately. Um, temperature you can do some things with if there's a problem with that but normally on an ssd drive it doesn't matter too much um hdd drives you know regular old-fashioned hard drives which most of us aren't even using anymore um you don't have to worry too much about the rights you only have to worry about the health status so as long as you've got a good health status you're fine let it go with a with a hard drive but i try to upgrade people to an ssd drive because the speed improvement alone is so vast it's ridiculous um and they're so cheap right now i mean you can get very very inexpensive drives um on amazon or ebay or any of them, ssd drives so anyway that's about it um it gives you a good idea of how far the drive has gone and how much further it's going to be able to go. I hope that helps. I hope it gives you some ideas. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, don't forget, smash the like button. Like the smash button. Keep the algorithm happy. And uh, if you have any questions or want me to cover anything specific, feel free to leave me a message. All right. Have a good one. Bye now.